What is happening, people? Welcome to episode one of the Uproar podcast. You already know I'm joined by my boy Shofu here. What's happening, man? Just out here trying to get it, man. (laughs) (laughs) Ain't we all? Yeah, so I had to get Shofu on episode one. Uh, I posted on Twitter, kind of letting the people know this was going down. And they all said that uh, episode one had to be had to be the boy so we out here um i mean it's fitting because you're literally probably like the oldest friend i've had that i've met through this whole this whole Bro, YouTube it's been a long shit. time man <laughs> anyway, i literally don't even know how long it's been because i don't really remember like us meeting or like how the fuck that shit went down but it's been a while bro it's okay, been okay well where where we been we've been Obviously, we did all the shows for TGS in, like, 2011. Yeah, that was, tw- <laughs> Dude, oh my that God. was 2011. I was in high school. I think I was, like, I was, like, yeah. junior or senior. Wait, it was 2011. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was definitely in high school, dude. It's been a long, it's been a long road, man. It's it wild to see that we're both still out here doing the damn thing. Yep, a lot of us that oh. didn't make it this far, bro. <laughs> <laughs> dude, exactly. A lot of Straight us didn't up. make it. Straight up. Um, yeah, dude, the game, the game, the TGS did, that was like a memory that I had completely forgotten about. A lot of people probably don't even like most people probably were not around for that time. Like that era of YouTube. That was an, that was an Definitely interesting not. time. That shit was pretty sick though, dude. So for people who don't know that we, we were initially signed to, um, a YouTube network. Most people are still on like networks if you're like a gaming YouTuber, but we were actually, able to like they had like a physical office like they were pretty legit for the time dude they were like actually probably the only yeah because they were uh when they were maker studios right yeah so they were like they were bought by maker studios and then do you remember like way back in the day like old ass youtubers like shake carl and shit they had yeah like, yeah dude they had that channel called the station yeah and like what it was and, uh Kassim g and <laughs> yeah dude the fucking boys i i remember all those dudes but yeah they essentially what it was was they um had like a sister channel which was like the station but it was like the game station so then they were able to start signing gaming youtubers which at the time that shit was wild dude like we were we were probably among the first like at least pokemon players if not like gaming channels to like actually get like partnership through youtube yeah it was i mean at the time it was like machinima was partnering a lot of people yeah, it was uh, like it was right as kind of Machinima was starting to get popular too. They, I think. Don't, they don't like talking about Machinima though. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> First of all, hold up. What happened to Machinima, bro? They just disappeared off the face of the planet. Hello? They probably owe too many people money or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> Dude, probably they were getting people in contracts that would like never expire and weird shit like that. Look, I just typed Machinima in on YouTube right now. The first video that pops up. The many scams and downfall <laughs> of Machinima. I think they, their whole, their actual channel is, is gone. Like, the... Not so here. Which is a bummer, because they had they had some fire shit. Like, it was pretty cool. Like, they did get a lot of people to oh, actually grow. Oh, wait. It's still here, but there's no videos on it. That shit's... Something's they, fishy out there, They bro. uploaded 3,000 videos a day. <laughs> yeah, that was... What that was... happened? I, I'm, I'm going to watch this video when we're done. <laughs> actually i think i dude i think i did watch that video it's actually really interesting because it's like they talk about a lot of shit that i had like known people had to go through like they were like yo it was cool like they would set you up with like these contracts at first you're like dude dope i get to make fucking i get to make money from you know like wi-fi battling and then they would essentially give you like shit cpms they'd take like 70 percent of the revenue and then they would like never let you leave so like these people would start with this contract yeah, yeah. they'd have like three thousand subscribers they're like it's better than nothing but then they would end up growing and then they're like still making shit money yeah wild. and the, their contract would never it would always loop or something yeah exactly there was some it was smart i mean at the time machinima was smart bro they were killing the game but yeah god damn it would suck to be stuck with that we got pretty lucky signing with the game station at the time for sure we, i remember <laughs> when i when i had first signed up about that i was like telling my dad i'm like yo so these people basically are allowing me to make money off the YouTube videos. They didn't know I was doing that shit at the time, even so I had to like show them what was going down. And then I remember like having like the first meeting with my manager. They're like, "Oh, you're like you're local. You can come down to LA to like our offices, and we'll like show you around." So I like brought my dad, and he was like, "Oh, it's like actually a pretty legit thing." That shit was, dude. That shit was wild because like I was walking at, in, at, and I remember at the time it was crazy. exactly. 
I remember, I remember walking in and like on the whiteboard, they had like a bunch of like random usernames of like other Pokemon people. They were like thinking about signing and shit. I remember seeing like all sorts of like, like King Daddy D-Mac. I had like so many, <laughs> so many random homies That's on there. That's my guy, bro. Yeah, King Daddy D-Mac. Yeah, man. I have, uh. I remember all that too, though. Yeah, dude. That was, those were good times though. I mean, we had a pretty good relationship with, like, so they were at first, they were, they were the game station, right? And then they just like fully transitioned into Maker Studios, which I think is still going. I don't know. Are you still? Uh, still uh, no, no, no. I'm with Drewster Teeth now. Maker Studios is like, I don't even know what happened to him. Once Disney bought him, though, it was pretty much over. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. I'm cracking a fucking cold one. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> this is what this, I didn't even, I did not even go into what this podcast is about or anything like that. But for the most part, we out here just chilling. I thought it'd be cool to kind of get some Pokemon YouTubers uh to just kind of you know shoot the shit for a little bit it's it's really laid back i didn't really want to have too much of like a format or you know just get you know too crazy with that's it. perfect we chilling we chilling um, <laughs> but yeah dude so maker yeah maker got bought by disney i remember that shit was actually pretty sick at the time because my checks were coming signed by fucking walt disney himself yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was like i got that disney money bro we were able to go to uh, Disneyland a couple times, actually. I don't know if you were there for a... Uh, we went to, like, E3 one time, and we went to Disneyland right after. Yeah, with, they, like, the they, hooked it, they hooked it up with, like, the E3 passes. I never got to go to Disneyland, bro. What the hell? Mm-hmm. That's pretty dope. Me and Duncan went. <laughs> and oh, Roger. Really? Oh, no shit. Yeah, Roger <laughs> Roger was, like... In, Roger was doing some other shit with Disney at the time, though. Right? He, he like, still... I don't know. I remember it. last um, time I talked to Roger was like the 2016 Cypher weekend. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Really? Uh, I don't remember what he was doing. I think he worked there or something. No, yeah. he worked for Nintendo a while back. I'm not sure what he was doing with Disney. Yeah, I mean, that guy's always got some some ends with. <laughs> We're talking about Roger's base for those. those yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is also he's killing he's killing it lately. I'm telling you, man. Shout Only out to the a couple guy. Survivors. Yo, for real. Only a couple survivors from back in the day. <laughs> I literally don't think there's like. I'm trying to think of who else is still around from like the old the old days of the A lot of people era. don't even know how we came up in this YouTube stuff to begin with, bro. Like they don't a lot of people probably probably don't know Hayden's like super duper OG for, <laughs> for this Pokemon stuff on YouTube, man. I mean you were I, we we both were for sure one of like the first to like at least establish um like an audience and it, it at the time it was like it was. I feel like it was easy for us because there was no competition, bro. Like there was nobody else really. It doing was it. easier for sure. Yeah, YouTube has changed so much. Everybody's doing it now. There was there were far less people making videos back then. Exactly. Yeah. Now the market is saturated as hell. I'm convinced. If I had to start now, first of all, I wouldn't know what the fuck to even do, and also yeah. I don't think we would even, I would even be able to be able to make it, man. It's 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 wild. Tough, man. <laughs> for real though. Um, yeah, we, we filmed that. We went to the Maker Studios and we had that, like, game show ass thing. I don't know. It was dope because, dude, they they had like a legit setup. Like, they're like, yo, yeah. since you live around here, you can literally come to our offices at any time. They had like green screen rooms and all sorts of wild shit. It was sick. Yeah, it, like I said, for for us, like, we play Pokemon at home. Like, we, <laughs> I never <laughs> yeah. expected to even be participating in stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty wild. That was when it was kind of like, damn, there's actually. There's like some potential in this whole thing, because I mean, nowadays people start with like knowing that you can like make it on the ship. It, I mean, like me and you, for at least probably, are like probably one of the only YouTube Pokemon people who like started before even monetization was an option. Bro, I was on YouTube before I even cared about money in general. <laughs> exactly. I remember. I think I uploaded my very first video just to, or no, no, no. I I got on YouTube and registered my account. I think this was in like. September of 2009, and it was just because I figured out you could Wi-Fi battle on Pokemon Platinum and shit, and I wanted to battle one of the dudes that was, like, uploading videos just to kind of, like, see what he would say <laughs> about me playing him. This dude, had, he's, like, some anime-ass username homie that's probably not around. I don't even know what who the guy was, but... <laughs> <laughs> but that was why I started, and I was like, damn, I could start, I could literally, I could just start uploading my battles, and I just wanted to get better at playing the game. I was like, yo, the competitive Pokemon's pretty sick. I didn't realize that there was, like, a community for it and i didn't even realize how early it was because i was like it was actually in diamond and pearl when like wi-fi connectability yeah, was, like, yeah. first started did you start you started in in gen 4 also right obviously yeah yeah uh 
I was just at the library. My friend had told me his uh, DS. He was like kind of, you know, at my school, at my high school, uh, Pokemon was a fad for like a, for like a little bit. You know, fads come and go, like Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, there's always some something that people are moving on to that everybody's doing at the school. So once the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl fad like kind of died out, he just sold me his uh, DS for cheap. He didn't want it anymore, and I was like playing it at the library. And some kid was like, "Yo, you know you can go online, right?" <laughs> I was like, "Huh?" That kid was like, "You want to catch these hands, bro?" Oh, he definitely beat my ass. <laughs> but because he beat my ass, I—that's what pretty much lit a fire into me to actually learn about the game. Exactly. I think I remember what initially like lit the fire for me was like looking at someone else's Pokemon. I'm like, "Why does this man's Blissey have so much goddamn HP?" And then I was like, oh, "There's like, there's like." <laughs> There's like EVs and IVs and all. Yeah, sorts that's of shit. A, bro. That's that was the worst, bro. Because none of that stuff is documented in the game as like you know information. You have to actually go out and yeah on the internet and kind of stumble upon it. See, that was art. why. Yeah, exactly. They they did not really promote that shit at all. Like nowadays in the games, they make it incredibly easy for like new players to get into it. But bro, if you were Wi-Fi battling back in like before Platinum even came out, you were you were playing against if they knew what they were doing, like they were probably pretty pretty fucking good because they like yeah. did the effort to put in like go kill like a thousand magic arps to get like plus ten on your speed stat. <laughs> that was like the only way to do it. <laughs> bro, I was breeding. I got deep I was deep in it, bro. I was deep in it. I used to go to the Apple store every day after school after practice. At the what for Wi Fi? Yeah, because I didn't have a, a route. I didn't have a Wi Fi router at home. I had internet, so I didn't have Wi Fi. <laughs> oh so shit! I'd go, I'd go to the Apple Store until it closed, like every night, like ten o'clock. Just Dude, grinding. Wild, man. I was battling. <laughs> they had clean Wi Fi in there. I was battling. <laughs> I, was research. I was breathing. It was crazy. Like, Y'all don't yo, know. Homie comes up in here and <laughs> steals all our Wi Fi every damn day, bro. Like, who the <laughs> fuck is this kid? <laughs> I was smacking people. That's funny, man. I get hella nostalgic about like the start of all this, man. Yeah, same. It's been, it's been interesting, dude. So, like, do you remember when you had uploaded your first video? It was probably like 2010 or something like that. Um, uh, I actually uploaded a video in like 2008, I believe. Damn. But I deleted it. It was I didn't have a, a capture card or anything, or not a capture card, a um, a flash card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, I was back in my parents' house in California recently, and I was just rummaging through all my shit as I usually do because it's fun to look through. I found, like, all my old DSs in, like, my R4 uh, flash card. I had, like, the Ace oh. card and all that shit. I was like, dude, that that was actually pretty legit because that made it really easy for us to, like, actually record. If you guys don't know, like, flash cards, flash cart or whatever the fuck, they were essentially just DS games that you could just plug an SD card into and then just download all the games for free. Hell, a sketch, but... And because you could take your uh, save file off of those, you could actually play on an emulator on your computer using that same save file. So that's... Yep. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's it's not really too different now. Like, yeah, yeah, that's true. If I was off their 3ds to play on Citra and stuff too. Yeah, they changed the game though because before I was stacking up books to like set a digital camera up to like face my DS and like record <laughs> record my battles. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, dude. I was like, we were getting like some pretty decent views at the time because literally it was like, if you had decent quality and were like could talk like, yeah no, i mean obviously i'm cr- i was cringe as fuck like i literally can't even go back and watch anything Bro, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> my first uh my first like 30 videos were not didn't have me talking at all yeah i, was, I think yeah i had a lot of them that just had like music in them i'm, I'm sure too i mean for me like back in it it's changed so much now but back in the day i could go find a random pokemon battle to watch and enjoy watching it i didn't need uh anybody talking because i you know the game is actually what i was trying to see yeah exactly <laughs> and plus half the narrations were god awful anyway yeah as people, mine. Don't, uh, people don't appreciate the battling anymore not that i blame them but i yeah, don't know man. the state of the state of battling these days is i don't know it's weird man first of all they straight up took away the singles timer from us what the fuck is up with that that really kind oh, of my god. ruined they, all they of my in- actively butchered it yeah, like, I don't I literally don't understand why. I haven't played a singles Wi Fi battle since, like, the day after Sword and Shield came out. I remember I tried to play, I think I played against Roger at the first Wi Fi battles against fucking Roger. Really? And I was like, there's only 20, you can only do 20 minutes. What the hell? <laughs> I guess they're just trying to make the shift into VGC, which I like VGC. Like, it's nice to have it, like, a change. But, yeah. 
I mean, I, I've always enjoyed VGC. I've played it since pretty much all the way back then. Um, maybe like 2011. Really? So, yeah, I mean, I got videos of me going to tournaments uh, from back then. Oh, it was sure. never like the main thing I did, but I, I always played it. Yeah, I don't even remember that. I See, I wanted to get into like tournaments. I just never liked doubles. For whatever reason, I was always just into singles because I was like, oh, smoke on is the way to go. And like, I don't know. I mean, it's a different game. Yeah. There's things that are legal in VGC that aren't in singles. It's it's a lot more to learn just because of the combinations and stuff too. Yeah, there's definitely I think there's benefits to both. I don't know. See I like yeah, first, first. I never I really did. played VGC at all until Sword and Shield came until out. Until you got fucked. Until yeah, I was like <laughs> Yeah, they straight up fucked me and made me have to play it, which was tight. Like it, it was I don't know, it's not too bad because I don't know, it's unfortunate to have to basically start over in knowledge because i'm like i ain't never seen the move ally switch in my goddamn life and now it's on every single battle <laughs> i hate that move that's one of the dumbest moves i've ever seen i remember watching your battles and you're like when you it was like pretty early sword and shit you're using a the, what the hell is a move quash i'm like what is that hello <laughs> like a quash sableye i'm like bro it's i know nothing <laughs> See, but bro, the thing about doubles is that half the moves in the game are made for doubles only. <laughs> that is true. That is true. There's so many moves that you ne- you'll you never see in singles. Yep. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just like I have the I have the nostalgia goggles with starting with singles and just wanting to like, I don't know, man. It's, it's no, showdown's fun, but it just doesn't it doesn't do it for me, man. Like, I like to play. I like to play on showdown. It's just not the same. I just like, you know, hopping on the DS. Yeah, I, I feel that. It, it's, it's, I, that's pretty much why I haven't been playing, bro. Like, I haven't played Pokemon in months, except for uh, the DLC that just came out. Yeah, Before the DLC came out, I don't think I've touched Pokemon in general since, like, March, bro. Like, I'm yeah, just I mean, not in. <laughs> I haven't been playing it a lot lately either. I've done, I've done, like, a couple, like, VGC streams here and there, just to kind of, like, I don't know. Because the, the one good thing that's been happening lately is, like, the meta shifts. It's actually kind of nice, like they've been yeah, with the they, new DLC. Stuff back, moves and yeah, that's that's been pretty cool. Yeah, so at least that's kind of nice. It's like a reason to come back, so it's not like stale all the time. But yeah, I feel you, man. I haven't played any competitive mods or like mods in general in a long ass time, other than the DLC. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of the DLC? Don't ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> It was ass. Uh, so this podcast for man, we out here talking. Oh shit. my god, man! If you want me to hop in my bag, it's time. <laughs> the DLC, right? The only thing cool about it was the Pokemon they brought back. That's exactly, it. Yeah, facts. The actual game, what the hell, bro? First of all, finding the 151 Diglets was like the worst shit ever because the yeah, game what? looks like such shit that you can't even really tell the Diglets from <laughs> from the rest of the background, and the it's it's just uh, it's awful. Yeah, no, the actual totally gameplay of the DLC was like an hour long. It was easy as fuck. Even Bro, though it I've took had me like three before. hours. I don't know what the hell, why it took me so long, but that shit took I mean, me forever. I, I, when I say an hour, I mean you. If you really wanted to, you could easily run through it in an hour. It took well, yeah. me more than an hour. It took me like three hours as well. Yeah, but yeah, my no, point I, is, it, it's so fucking easy, and there's nothing really going on. My man says, yeah, you're, you're going to have to go through this tower of challenging Pokemon. I walk in there, there's a level 60 Psyduck, bro. <laughs> I've been playing this game for a year. There, there's no way they didn't even consider the possibility that I might have a level 100 Pokemon in my party at this time. Yeah, there was they like made no it, They made it months. easy as fuck. They made it easy as fuck to get level 100s in the game. You do raids, you get your XL candies, you feed them to your Pokemon, level 100. They made it so easy to get level 100 competitive viable Pokemon. That I was completely shocked when I walked into the tower and saw level 60 Pokemon. Yeah, as, if see, there's, as if it was just impossible for me to have Pokemon higher level than that. <laughs> exactly. I, I completely thought, because before it came out, people were saying, like, oh, it like uh, it matches the level of whatever your party is. So I'm like, oh, that's pretty sick. If I come in there with, like, a competitive team, they'll all be, like, level 100. But no. Straight up level 60s. All right. I don't know, man. For, to me, a lot of that game just seemed really tedious. Like, I was just trying to get through it, which is whack the entire game always <laughs> which is kind of yeah which is fucking pokemon in general but yeah man the dlc hopefully what i can all i can say is that we can hope that the next dlc <laughs> has like a redeeming quality to it i mean they're bringing like it's some cool like shit it's gonna be a lot better yeah, yeah like, we'll get the we'll get the new uh the legendaries the new reggie trio or whatever and the 
the birds look pretty sick. So. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, this one's all about legendaries and raids and stuff. Yeah, I think it'll be pretty cool. But yeah, like I agree. the The only thing about it was the mons they brought back, which was like I got the most enjoyment out of like running around in the grass and being like, "Holy shit, they brought this thing back!" There's a site there. Oh my god. Which probably should not be a feeling for a game that I like paid for. You know, like <laughs> excited about the fact that they. <laughs> I can catch. I think. I think mean. the worst part of that shit was uh, the following Pokemon, man. Yeah, man. I saw. <laughs> I saw some clip. It wasn't even you that posted. It, it was like some random ass Twitter. It was a clip of you, and they. they were like, it was you just like yelling at your uh, whatever the fuck it was following you, just like terrible running animations, and like they just teleport. See what a lot of people don't understand is that's that's a genuine reaction. I didn't go into the DLC ex- like expecting to shit on it or wanting to shit on it. Yeah. When I when I sent out my damn or when my uh, uh what Pokemon was it Dragapult I think fastest Pokemon ever. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's also when there. my was, was creeping behind me. I'm walking normally and there's such a big <laughs> gap between me and him. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is this? And then he just teleports behind me. I'm yeah, walking man. normally. It's not like I'm sprinting. It was pretty. It was a pretty half-assed mechanic. <laughs> right. That included. Do it right if you're gonna do it. Exactly. It's Pokemon is just I, I just can't stand it right now. See what I think. I just, I, please get some quality one time, just once, ever, please. <laughs> <laughs> just like a fucking morsel of of some. Quality. Please, just a crumb of quality. <laughs> no, I agree. Though I do think, though, however, the DLC format probably does work best for Pokemon if they're going the route rather than having to sell us a fucking um, oh, an entirely new game. Yeah, so, I, I mean, I definitely appreciate that. They go in the right direction with DLC, but I just think that, like, the the dumbass tasks that they had you do, bro, they had you, like, I don't even, I literally, it's been a long-ass time since I even did it, but they had you, like, chasing around the slowpoke. Like, what? I was, like, right. cool for, like, five set, like five minutes. I'm like, all right. I, well, that's what I'm talking about, though. Like, that stuff's not, there's nothing to think about when you play Pokemon. Like, it's yeah. so dumbed down. There's, there's really, there's nothing going on that you actually need to pay attention to. Exactly. And that's, and that's why I don't like it. Yeah, I mean, much. that's why literally I only got into Pokemon because of, like, the in-depth aspect of the competitive, which, you know, it will always be there. But, mm-hmm. yeah, man, the, I don't know. Sword and Shield was... I don't think it was too bad of a game. Like, I I can't say I did have fun playing it, but, like... Oh, I, yeah. It's, see, to me, whether I like it or not, or whether it's good or bad, those are two different things to me. Yeah, I enjoyed yeah. playing Sword and Shield. I played the shit out of it for a while. So, yeah, it's just one of those things that I I feel like I got sick of it quicker than I normally do, and that's honestly probably because of the non-existent single format. If we're gonna be real. <laughs> <That's nice. laughs> aren't, weren't you like a part of like some uh, like Pokemon Ambassador program or some shit where they like hook you up with the games early? Oh, I was in a Nintendo Ambassador program. They kicked yeah. me out though. I don't I don't know why, but they definitely <laughs> kicked me out. <laughs> they watch your streams one time they're like what the fuck is this man talking about <laughs> yeah because i, I don't remember know you got sword and shield was. early and i was like bro what the fuck i want Wait, did i get sword and shield early oh wait no not sorry i mean i meant uh sun, sun and moon sorry oh yeah, yeah yeah i definitely got sun and moon early yeah i was sitting there i was like, um oh, i'm out here at gamestop at midnight yeah i, I think it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. they sent me sun and moon 10 days before it came out yeah that's pretty dope you know it's like that's what happened yeah I remember I was like, thing- all I gotta do is wait for Shofu's opinions. <laughs> this man's got it. My opinions on Pokemon are probably not the, uh, a lot of the times I get duped, right? A lot of the times I'll I'll say a game is great, and then in a month I'll be like, nah, I was, I, I was definitely wrong about that. <laughs> I remember, I think you posted a tweet initially after Sword, you got uh, Sun and Moon, and you were like, best Pokemon game of all time. And I was like, damn, all right. I, so- I, I enjoyed the story uh, more, much more than usual. That's okay, why the story I, was pre- the story was pretty good. And so, and- but the lack of replayability, the there was a lot of problems with Sun and Moon that I didn't acknowledge before I tweeted that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever gets the people going, man. I try to be. I try to be. Uh, I mean, obviously, those are those are my actual feelings at the time. But I didn't really take a step back and look at the full game. Yeah, I mean, I think what. Like, you do, like, people do definitely value your opinions about, like, fucking anything, which is, like, it makes sense, because you do generally have a pretty, like, you have a pretty... I, mean, I try, I try to educate myself on anything before I speak on it. Yeah. That's it the just, least I can It do. just so <laughs> happens that a lot of shit be negative, and that's just how it be. 
Look, man, people think I don't like anything because of how I talk about things. That's I know not... people in your replies are like, bro, do you like, do you enjoy anything? <laughs> and you're like, you're like, dude, I've been playing this game nonstop. Like, obviously I like it. <laughs> I keep trying to tell people that me liking something is not going to, it's not going to change whether I think it's good or bad. Yeah. So, to me, something can be objectively bad, but I'll still enjoy it. I watch all the anime in the world. Anime trash. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still be watching it. Oh I play all kinds of trash games. I play Smite. I play Pokemon. <laughs> do you play Smite? I was gonna ask if you. I do play Smite. Fucked with anything other than like Smash and uh, Pokemon lately? I mean, I play a lot of games. I just don't really make content on most of the games I play. Honestly, yeah. Hey, that's kind of like that, that's kind of where I'm at too. Like, I don't. I mean, I don't play a lot. Obviously, I play like Overwatch and shit. But when it comes to like making content on it, there's really no point. Like, we've gotten. I've gotten myself in such a Pokemon hole that it's like, bro, if I stream anything else. <laughs> it's i don't know man i mean I, mean, I, I pretty much stream whatever the hell i want nowadays yeah that's true you've been i mean you've been you've been going hard on the twitch lately huh i took a little break yeah i know yeah i noticed like i was in your stream yesterday everybody's like oh my god he's back <laughs> <laughs> he left like two yeah, weeks I, I social media was just too much for me yeah. um I agree. Once I once I feel stuff starting to weigh down on my actual mental, I'll just take a step away for a bit. Yeah, it's, I'm it's, good now. That's but... smart, bro. See, not a lot of people have the uh, <laughs> have the willpower to do that. But that's yeah, pretty it's... much the way our uh, social media has been going lately, especially in in the communities that we unfortunately have gotten ourselves into. There's been some nonsense, but we ain't gonna talk about that shit today. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh. I've been so in terms of content creation, bro. I've been pretty much like transitioning into Twitch, mostly. Like, I obviously am never gonna leave YouTube fully, but I've kind of like gotten into. I just no, enjoy. I, I just enjoy Twitch more. Like, I don't know what it is. It's like just the format of it having. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, having people that. there, and I don't know. Twitch is cool. Like, I mean, a lot of my content on my channel has just been edited Twitch content. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, it's good too. Like, when you get it like nicely edited, like yeah, it's actually solid. Like, I've been watching. Like your your edited shit's hilarious, because your streams are funny in general. So there's like <laughs> not a lack of yeah, comedic it's just shit. Just like a highlight reel. Yeah. Exactly. One other thing. Okay. While we're on the subject of fucking of Twitch, so <laughs> dude, all right, tell me about the one chip challenge. Oh my god, bro! I watched you do it on my stream. <laughs> I know, I know. As I was doing it, someone in the chat was like, "Show if he's watching right now." I was like, "Bro," because I I think I like initially saw like if you were the first person I saw do it. And I was like, "Holy shit, that looks intense!" I was like, uh, "I didn't even do it right. I um, I didn't know that the the point of it was to last as long as possible before drinking milk." <laughs> yeah. I just as soon as that shit started fucking my mouth, though, I started drinking milk. I had no idea. Dude, that shit's intense. Okay, if you guys don't know, but, uh, there's there's a challenge called the one chip challenge that was like it was popular a long ass time ago. I got on it late, like, but. It's essentially just this chip that's like covered in like I actually have the paper sitting on my desk. It's pretty funny. It's like the I survived fucking thing. It's a uh, it was covered in uh, Carolina Reaper shit. It was a pure, yeah. pure black death chip, bro. Right. Like, it is no joke. My Didn't God. taste good or anything either. Terrible. Motherfucker was stale. It was like fifty bucks for this chip too because it was like they. Bro. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was. I paid like fifty bucks for this little like coffin to come to my house that had one chip in it. I was like, what am I? What am I doing with my life? at the moment but that shit was ter- it was nothing is spicy to me now ever did you eat the whole thing uh yeah i did i did actually no i'm not sure if i did i ate most of it if i didn't eat the whole thing <laughs> i had to like break that bitch in half to like fit it in my mouth i saw i have the vod up on my my twitch that i'll leave there if you guys are interested in going to see me die for like literally 30 minutes it was terrible Dude. Dude, I, <laughs> I ate like a goddamn gallon of ice cream though i'll tell you what bro the ice cream saved me but yeah i ate way too much <laughs> my stomach like if my stomach wasn't already messed up from the chip it was like i ruined it with all the ice cream Dude, you had to though bro. Bro. if right. you did not eat ice cream for like a second i was straight dead i went five minutes without without yeah i didn't uh, do that i went about i went about 30 seconds bro <laughs> I was, and it was still fucking me up i was dying i had like the hiccups immediately i was like oh, God, <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about to throw up on stream for sure matt did it too he yeah yeah up. i watched matt do it he, yeah <laughs> he said he threw up on his shoes he threw up on his shoes man <laughs> oh my god that's so funny dude but 
<laughs> yeah, the one chip challenge. You were initially how I found out about it, so I was like, all right, I gotta give it a try. I was like, if show, I, mean, I, I had, had all my good. boys doing it because they were talking shit. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like you're watching, you're like, it doesn't, it can't be that bad. Like I've had right. spicy shit before. They'll never know unless they do it. And obviously, I'm white as hell, so I did not handle spice <laughs> very well in general. Come on, but... <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, man. That, see, that's the type of shit that it's fun to do that kind of thing, like, live. Like, I've been... I don't know, man. Twitch is, Twitch is fun. Like, I've actually... My past couple of videos have just been highlighted content of Twitch streams, which I think is cool. Um, like, I got a pretty dope editor. It's just... Like, the only thing is it's literally just a pain in the ass to edit. But when it comes down to it, I've just been enjoying Twitch lately more in terms of a platform. But it's like, I can't ever leave, leave the YouTube, man. That shit's been... The team has been too yeah. good to me. Yeah, no, I, I, I'll never leave YouTube. I just, I don't know. I, I'm probably going to start making different content and maybe even start a new channel on the side. Something. Yeah, like I've thought about starting a new channel to like transition to do, like kind of get a little bit of a content shift, but it's like starting over is such a bummer, dude. Oh, of course, of course. You're sitting there like you have like half a million right now, don't you? I don't know. Close to seven. I haven't really grown too much. Close to seven. Jesus Christ, I haven't uh, even looked in a long ass time, apparently. I haven't grown too much in a while, bro. It's oh my God. uh yeah, me <laughs> inconsistent. Me either. Yeah, yeah, you had six ninety. Jesus. I remember dude, there was specifically a time. I, I remember this because I've always like I've always thought about it. As soon as you passed me, I was like, This motherfucker. When you were you were at, <laughs> <laughs> you were at my house one time. It was the time with, with uh cheese and shibby. You came over, you actually filmed a vlog yeah. that day. It's like on yeah, the channel, it's called Chillin' at Hayden's house. That was a funny ass day. First of all, we had a good time. Um, but I remember you, you were like, you were saying, you're like, dude, I'll never pass you. I was like, bro, you're definitely going to pass me. I don't remember what I was at at the time. It was probably less than a hundred K. I don't, I, I have no idea, but I remember <laughs> you were like, dude, like, dude, there's no way. And then you just straight up blew up. Oh, I was man. doing shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I was out here. My man came in there hot, killing it on the <laughs> tube, still killing it on the tube. So if you were, to, if you were to switch, switch up some content what would you be interested in kind of like doing in terms of something else uh i mean not i mean probably the same stuff it's just uh on youtube in general like when i half the shit i do on my stream i don't you know, it'll never see youtube it'll never touch my my youtube channel yeah because you know i listen to music on stream and i'll you know i'll react to it or i'll uh even my fans will send me their music and i'll react to it or i'll um yeah you know i'll watch a video on my stream that has literally nothing to do with video games or anything and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, dude, I've noticed, actually, I always get in my recommendations. It'll be, like, a video titled, like, Shofu Reacts to, and it's just, like, a music video, or, like, you and your boys just laugh. Some random, some... bro, those problems have been, those uh, channels have been uh, just taking all my content and just uploading it on YouTube. Yeah, I'd be clicking on some that have, like, 50,000 views. I'm like, what the fuck? This is not even Shofu's <laughs> channel. This man's missing out on... <laughs> missing out no, no, on no, that's, like, precisely what I'm talking about, though. I'll put yeah. that stuff on my own channel. Exactly. Those, See, you gotta, you gotta you gotta, capitalize on that shit, because, first of all, it's hilarious. I've actually I've watched some of them, and that shit is so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching the one... I, was, I, I watched the one of, like, you reacting to Shizzy on some, like, dating show or some shit like that. Oh, my God. I'm like, bro, these mans... <laughs> they're hitting up with, like, the titles where I'm like, I gotta, I gotta watch that shit. <laughs> Even though I'm like just getting, giving some rando some, some monetization, some, some money. So funny though. Yeah, I mean, I I know the people that are doing it, um, because they've uploaded some stuff that I didn't want on YouTube at all. Just like, yeah. pretty much half the stuff I stream. It's not. I'm on Twitch. I'm not on YouTube. I don't really necessarily want everything I do on Twitch to be on YouTube. I gotta have something exclusive for the Twitch people. So exactly. That actually, yeah. Exactly. That's the thing. So that they actually go over there. Yeah. Um, you could probably file like claims on that but probably nah, i mean that. as long as they comply i don't really care what they do I, i've given them rules i've told them you know the kind of stuff that you they can't put up yeah. some of them put up like full ass streams like I, I there's just no way you're about to get away with it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but as long as they you know listen to what i say i don't really mind yeah i mean i feel like most people are pretty like obviously they're like a fan of your shit anyway so they're probably just like they're probably pretty cool about it yeah so it's, it's all good at the end of the day yeah man you 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 be getting the views on the twitch on twitch man every time i click there you got like 2000 i'm like jesus <laughs> bro i was <laughs> once i started watching gordon ramsay that's when everybody started coming in started watching gordon ramsay you, you, you gotta watch kitchen nightmares man <laughs> <laughs> dude i love gordon ramsay <laughs> 
all I do, well, when I, you know, I'd say like a month ago, all I would do was uh, I'd watch uh, Kitchen Nightmares on stream. <laughs> really? Yeah, and, and hella people would just come in and start watching it with me. Oh I'd have like 3,000, 3,500 3, a lot dude, of those streams. so funny, dude. Because <laughs> it's, it's such an easy show to make fun of. <laughs> Exactly. So if something stupid happens, I'll just pause it and like roast the roast the fuck out of whoever just did that shit. And then I'll, <laughs> I'll just keep watching it. Yeah, the roasting gets the people going, man. You gotta you got a knack for the roasting for sure. <laughs> Bro, do you remember okay, I just had this in my notes as just shit I wanted to talk about. Pokemon Cypher 2016. First of all, that was like the most fun weekend ever. We were in San Francisco for those who don't know this. Oh, that was fire. We originally had <laughs> planned to because so we were, we were we were filming the cypher but the idea was that we we specifically planned it to go to worlds uh to be able to like record in the venue which is a hilarious idea in hindsight <laughs> it is like it really 30 is. dudes rolling around with a fucking speaker trying to record it <laughs> <I'm recording laughs> now that i think about it i don't know if it would have worked yeah definitely would not have worked but it we could have got some b-roll or something anything yeah yeah exactly we actually i remember there was a like one way that we tried to get around it was like because that was a year that was like the first year that they actually cut it off to like the public like you had to be in into the tournament to even play yeah. or some some shit like that i don't remember what it was but we like all like bought um <laughs> like entries to the the pokin tournament <laughs> to try to like get in to record it that shit was funny it did not end up working out oh yeah we did have, i just i just remember that you i remember just... i spent like 90 bucks on a damn pass to go play poking i was like i might have to just fuck around and enter this tourney i never even played poking oh my <laughs> god and we still couldn't get in yeah we actually went we went to i was venue. i was really mad about that because oh it was the week before we were i, I had planned this trip everything was good mm -hmm. the week before the event they say hey we have we're having capacity issues uh you can't come in if you're not participating and that's just fucked up considering it's a worldwide event. People fly in from all over the country. Or yeah, from like there all was, over the world. There was a lot of people that we actually even met up. Like, we met at the, our meetup. Yeah, like, the meetup. Yeah, yeah the I came meetup. From a, I came from, like, <laughs> out of the country to come to this, like, not even to, like, like just go to the meetup, but to literally just go into the venue. Like, people like spectating that shit. And that was... Yeah. I was just a, that was just a fucked up plan on Pokemon's end. They got, like, too small of a yeah. venue and then, like, the fire... It was like a fire hazard. They couldn't have too many people. That shit was ridiculous, dude. Yeah, that, that meetup was uh, kind of crazy considering, uh, you know, I met people from fucking Norway. Dude from Norway said he he took off a week off his job to come down here. He saved up for months. I know. For the plane ticket in the hotel. Dude, I <laughs> he was so able to go in. <laughs> God, I can't even imagine. I'd be so bummed. Oh my I God. was pissed, bro. Because yeah. I knew that already. People fly, People are flying. It's literally Pokemon World. Not yeah, they, the only people like people fly in for, to spectate it. And just it's an event for them. Like they can they can shop. They go there with their families to like have a, a fun time and watch Pokemon and buy shit. Like I remember, I did. They did actually leave the the store open. I I, I dropped a couple racks at the Pokemon yeah yeah. They did, you guys believe? Of course, they leave the store open. Fuckers, dude. <laughs> yeah gotta make that money real quick yeah man but at least it all ended up working out that was a pretty that was still a still a fun ass weekend we had yeah uh, 2019 was also fun had yeah a lot man of fun both. i was gonna say 2019 was i was i had a great time dude first of all because there was like the fact that we planned it with twitchcon was what made it sick because there was like so many people that we know and that's the cool part yeah, about like yeah. going to like conventions like that it's like we get to actually chill with people that i've literally never like, like i've never seen in person but i've like known for years on on youtube and shit so that was a yeah. fun ass time man 2019 was <laughs> anytime we yeah. get any of those dudes all together in one place yeah awesome. it's always a good time man it's the only thing i hated uh, about that last trip is the house was not what i thought it was gonna be at yeah. all yeah yeah i feel much you. smaller there were, there were not many places to sleep yeah, a lot like it of was the beds were trash. It was a nice house, but yeah, this shit was way too small. We had like yeah. so many people. <laughs> they all cruised in. They're like, there was like four beds. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was not. More, but... If that if that park was not across the street, I would have been pissed that whole weekend. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a bummer. That actually worked out super nicely that that park was. Actually, yeah, we, yeah. We shot the whole thing at that park, right? Yeah. That's so next out. time, if there's anything we do, I'm gonna make sure the house is. First of all, big enough for everybody and much nicer than, than the one we got. 
Did you go to John's house? John's yeah, Airbnb? dude. I was gonna say, yeah, bro. I, I do, bro <laughs> we could have, we could have a whole segment just about that weekend because that shit bro. was, bro. John flexed on everybody. What the hell was yeah, that? Him, him munching orange. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we're talking with John Carlo, Pari Mango, and Munching Orange. They had uh, they had an Airbnb that wasn't too far from ours. I remember I, me and um, me and GE went to that party first, and we're hopping on Discord. We're telling everybody, we're like, you guys got to get to this fucking Airbnb, bro. Like this shit is popping off, and <laughs> like I remember you and pretty much like all of the Cipher gang rolled through at like the same time, just doubled the double the amount of people there. That shit was dude. They had a <laughs> they had a fucking putting green like a golf course back there. Bro, they had everything. They had a slide. There was a water board. slide, dude. That... <laughs> <laughs> they had a gazebo. Bro, those vlogs from that, that weekend were pretty funny. <laughs> they had a big ass... Do you remember the big ass fucking uh, tray of weed they had? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. You roll in, there's a pool table, right? And there was literally like a fucking like massive like a... I don't even know, like a, it was like a rolling tray, I guess, but it was a fat tray, just like mound of weed. We're like, what is going on here? Just alcohol everywhere. Those boys, they they, they definitely they did were it doing, right. Yeah, they were doing it, man. They fucking did it right. That shit was so funny. I walked in and I was like, I can't tell if there's a fucking smoke machine in here or if everybody just... They're walked bro. Out. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. John they had was, a fog machine, but it was, the people were also smoking so much that... Who yeah, knows, there, was, there was like, yeah, John was saying, they're like, yeah, we tried to like finish all that tonight or like some crazy shit. They're like finished like a couple bottles and they were like trying because they like they went to San Diego and then bought all that weed there. And they're like, now we have like a pound of weed. They're like trying to <laughs> like trying to get rid of it. They're like all leaving in like two days. So they're just like rolling up a bunch of blunt, dude. Who would have thought that uh, the Pokemon people go so hard, man? Yeah, I mean, that was a fun I party. I think, I think we picked the good ones, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. That was, that was an John, interesting time. Who else was there? Uh, dude, there was a bunch of people. There was a lot of people there. There I was saw a lot. Super Duper Danny. I saw. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Glitch City. Yeah, Glitch City was there. Uh, with so, V. There was dude. There was a lot uh, of people. Uh, the weird thing uh, is, it's like I don't recognize a lot of them like in person. Like I'm for sure I would know like everybody if like they had their damn name tags on with their username. <laughs> Bro, I bro, some of them people I did not recognize until they came. They know me. They yes. know you. Bro, they so come up the to thing. us and they're like, "Yo, tofu, what's good, man?" I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, uh, yeah. After you're like, and then, and then they introduce themselves. I'm like, oh yeah, what's good, bro? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you gotta hit them. They hit you with the username. See, that's the thing about you, though. You're like the most recognizable person at like any public spot. Is that facts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That that party was that party was fucking was an interesting one it was just so funny because me and i think it was me and ye it was like me and chu or something we got there early just because yeah shelby was there tricky we and like there was just a, there was just a squad but they're like yeah you guys gotta come and we we cruised out and there was like nothing going on we were just like sitting under this like gazebo just chilling we're like dude we gotta get we gotta get some homies here that was actually the first time i think i'd ever seen you drink too uh well i only drank because john begged me that's the only reason i came to the party bro yeah, I know. I he kept you. calling you. Yo, he John called me 300 me. times. <laughs> he kept telling me, he's like, yo, get Shofu here. I'm like, dude, he's chilling. Like, I'll, I'll hit him up. But, like, he kept calling, he kept hitting you up. He was he was definitely on one. As, as, yeah, uh, he, he called me, like, 300 times and was like, yo, Shofu, man, what happened, man? We used to be boys, man. We used to be so close. You got to come to the house. Take a shot with me, man. Please, man. He kept begging me. I was like, all right, bro. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I barely ever drink. It's very rare to see me drink. But that's yeah, the exactly. That was the that was the only time I was like, damn. Yeah, this yeah, is... I don't. I just don't like alcohol at all. Um, but yeah, he he freaking begged me to take a shot with him. <laughs> I hadn't seen him in such a long time. I was like, all right, man. Like, I got you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that was. He made his night for sure. John's a cool dude, man. I like that guy. He's nice. He he gets a little rowdy. He as obviously. Yeah, but... for sure. Well, well, whenever he drinks. <laughs> I met Mo though. Mo was mad cool that that weekend. Yeah, that was the first time I, I had met Mo. Also, Mo's another one that I think that he's another like Pokemon. Yeah, he's an OG too, bro. Long time. Yeah, he's we OG on him. the on the playthrough side. He never really battled like that. Yeah, but exactly. He's, he's OG for the for the let's play guys. Yeah, that man held it down for the let's plays. He was probably like one of the first like big let's play channels. That show was funny. I, we were... I, What's my, my bad? I'll try. Am I lagging in Discord? I don't think so. You sound good to me. Connection's pretty bad. <laughs> All right. If I'm not lagging, then I guess they're good. Discord always be tripping. 
<laughs> but I was going to say, when we were uh, we were chilling at that, like, under the gazebo, and it was, like, me, you, and Mo, and we're like, damn, like, these are, like, there was literally probably only missing, like, two or three other people at the time. Like, we're the oldest YouTube, Pokemon YouTube channels there. Pretty wild. Yeah, yeah. Exactly how it goes. How often, <clears throat> so, I mean, obviously everybody recognizes your tall ass, but how, <laughs> how often in public do you get, like, recognized? <laughs> like, yeah, are you fucking Shofu? Uh, a lot more often than I would expect. Really? I remember uh, my brother's birthday. We went out to eat. Uh, this was like in January. So before the pandemic, um, some guy, <laughs> just, it was me and my mom and my two brothers. <laughs> we were just eating. And the guy next to us was like, yo, Chovo, I was just watching you on YouTube, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's just weird, it's, man. It's See, pretty it probably crazy. happens I, to you quite a bit. Not, I mean, I don't really go anywhere a lot of the time. Yeah. But as much as I do go out, then I guess, yeah, per, like percentage-wise, yeah. Yeah. Where, where the I hell are you even living now, dude? I'm in L.A., bro. Are you back in L.A.? Yeah. Oh, shit. Because last Never. time I talked, you were in some random-ass state. I was in New Jersey. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. Um, yeah, I'm never leaving L.A. again. Yeah, so, man, LA's, we're good. L.A.'s the spot. Are you living, who are you living with, by yourself? Yeah, by myself. Nice. How the hell are you, dude? Expensive as shit, first of all. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> like apartment in LA. Are you like like actually like close to the city? In downtown. Damn. Well, that's pretty dumb, like, man. Yeah, next like time a... I'm, I'm back in California, we got to kick it, man. Yeah, pull up, man. I'm a couple miles from the Staples Center, I think. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. It is expensive, but I always figured, uh, you know, if my house is more expensive, I just got to work harder to yeah. make more money. True. So, so you keeping that content creation life full time or what? <laughs> I tried to. Like I said, I did take a bit of a break, uh, yeah. so I gotta, I gotta pretty much hop back on uh, full force now. I mean, you got to though, because for as long, especially for as long as like you've been doing it, like thinking about it, this, like hasn't been a period of time where you've like stopped, you know, for like a, that like that long of a time. It's like mm-hmm. it wears on you, man. People don't think of content creation as like that big of a. Yeah, it's it's actually. <laughs> Just the culture, man. Just being on social media all the time. Yeah, shit like, works on you, man. People don't understand that a lot of content creators are pretty lonely. Like they don't, they don't interact with people on uh, on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah. Especially, I mean, if off you're trying the internet. To, <laughs> yeah, if you're trying to actually make it, because I mean, you you do have to maintain like a pretty strict schedule to be able to do that shit full time. Exactly. Like, like for me, like, cause I have a full time job, so I like. I do graphic design, so I'm, like, sitting on a computer for, like, eight hours a day, and then I come home, and it's, like, I try to stream, like, a couple days a week, mm-hmm. just because, like, I enjoy it, like, I yeah. just try to stay a little, try to stay a little bit consistent, but this shit's hard, man, having a full, having a full-time thing and trying to, trying to keep that shit going. Yeah. Which is, like, it's actually easier to keep the Twitch content, just because it's, like, I can kind of just hop on a game, and I can chill, and I can just chat, but when it comes to, like, creating YouTube stuff, like, I remember having to like try to stockpile up videos, get enough content for like the week. And then I can like chill for a little bit, but then it's like trying to stay on top of it. It's, it's ridiculous. And like the editing, yeah, all that. It's pretty difficult to be consistent. It is, man. I'm sure it's more difficult for you. You actually have a full-time job. Yeah. Dude, so I was going to ask you when I first met you, you were living in like Fullerton, right? Or some. Yeah. Yeah. Center, that's where right? I, well, something like that. Placentia next yeah. city over yeah yeah because yeah. that was how that was initially how we had like met up in person for the first time we had been like yeah cause, <laughs> you, you, uh, you told me that you lived uh close by yeah i knew i knew you from the poking mosh pit which is a whole fucking conversation in itself oh my god <laughs> <laughs> the mosh pit bro there's probably Jeez. a cut like a handful of people that remember that but it was a community channel where essentially me and king daddy dmax started it because we were like yo let's get some people to kind of give smaller channels like a platform to be able to like upload Wi-Fi battles. And it started as just Wi-Fi battles. And I remember Shofu had uploaded it on it. I see, I, I really don't remember like the first time that we had ever really even talked, but I remember specifically being like, Oh yeah, shit, you live like close by. Did we meet before that tournament that we had? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yo, the okay. tournament that that was the revelations one or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> That was mad funny. Yeah, dude, we we were doing we were doing big things back in the day, man. We, we were out there. Bro. We were out there. I was like I was like 17. I was like, "Yo, dad, you got to drive me down to uh 
the LA, I don't even remember where, it was like some mall in LA or like Santa Monica or something. And we had that set up. Wait, that, no, 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 there was one before that one though. Oh, there was. Cause that was, well, that was when I met cheese. That first one. I think, I that, think that was the one I'm thinking about. Uh, hey. There was one. <clears throat> where was the first one? There, there was definitely there was that. definitely two because I think the Revelations one was actually yeah one of them one. was at the Santa Monica Place Mall yeah yeah that was I think that was the second one that's the one yep. that PK and all those other people came to yeah yeah that was when I met that was when I met a bunch of people I met Cheese there the first time but then when the yeah, fuck was yeah. the first one when was the other one I remember dude I think I remember the first one was hilarious the only thing I remember about it though was that my dad had to drive me there because I wasn't old enough to drive and he didn't even know like what was really going down cuz he he'd like signed my like my partnership contract but he never really had knew like what I was doing um so i like we got there and there was like a line of people and i remember me and you were probably like the two biggest ones that were like that were like promoting it and stuff so like when we showed uh-huh. up there was like a line for like the registration people trying to get in the tournament and then there was like a line of people trying to like get your autograph <laughs> there, was, there was like a line of people just like waiting to like talk to like you and then I rolled up and my, like a bunch of people were trying to talk to me and then and my mom or my dad was like on the phone with my mom. They're like, people are asking him for his autograph. What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> so it was so funny. Dude. There, like there was like a longer line to like talk to me and you than there was to like register for the tournament. She was. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just looked up the date. Revelations was in 2012. Uh, the first time we met was probably in 2011. Yeah. Yeah, because it uh, wasn't. No, I don't know. Did did I go to your house before that or after that? I literally do not remember. But all I remember about when you came to my house was that I did a kickflip in your big ass shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were skate. We were skating in my front yard. I don't know what the fuck we were doing that day. We were like trying to like we we recorded like a sketch, and we were pretty much just chilling. And we were just we like were skating chilling, in my bro, front yeah. yard. You had your big ass Shaquille O'Neal ass shoes, and I was like, let me hit a kickflip in them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, but I we definitely met a little bit before you had cruised to my house, but then I think that was before the tournaments, right? I, I honestly don't remember the timeline. I, mean, yeah. I can check. Let's see. Here's really? Chilling at Hayden's house, the video. July 3rd, 2011. 2011, dude. <laughs> that is so crazy. You were like at McDonald's in that. We were like, went to McDonald's in that video or some shit. It's yeah. A, it's a pretty memed on video, a classic for sure. I think I have the original sketch video that we had recorded that day privated on my channel because it ended up just being terrible. It was the idea was there, but it, we just did not execute. I see it. Okay, I got the timeline. Definitely right. met at that tournament first. Really? Oh, dude, I think you're right. One, that does make yeah. sense. That's where Show Who Eat That Donut was. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I was gonna bring up Show Who Eat That Donut. That was at the first one. Yeah. <laughs> And I specifically remember those expensive ass fucking donuts. It was like six dollars for a goddamn donut. Yeah, they were honing because there's nothing else around. <laughs> Joe, uh, a guy we met at the, at that place named Joe took us uh, to like Carl's Jr. or something. Yeah, and I think I remember Joe like being yeah, I, I a, I being a returning character. <laughs> yeah, I still talk to that guy. Do you? Yeah, uh, I remember he um he was there for a couple of Maker Studio shoots and stuff too. That was a chill guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, what dude, the, the Shofu Eat That Donut video, <laughs> that's a classic. I, people on my stream were talking about that recently. They're like, what's the story on that? I was like, I have no fucking idea, man. I was trying to like just get like a panorama of just like the room, and I just caught you right before a bite, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> is, dude, I'm going to have to make... I'm going to have to tweet that video after this shit. That was so funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was like 10 years ago, dude, nine years ago. Yeah, it was, yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Wild man. I respect D Mac for hosting actual in person singles tournaments though, because nobody does that. Yo, D Mac made it happen, like, dude. Right. And there were people like... didn't respect D Mac as much as they should with the whole Pokemon thing. They thought he was trying to like be a money grubber and steal all the money from well, that channel. Yeah, but... it wasn't. I mean, he definitely was doing it for some money. That's for damn sure. Yeah, but, but what I'm saying is like people wanted a percentage of the money of that their videos were making when it was probably like a couple dollars tops. Yeah, each video. No, yeah, exactly. If like people don't realize if you're getting like ten thousand dollars or ten thousand views on a video, you're not making shit. And it was like, like yeah, it's like ten bucks maybe. <laughs> yeah. So like he he definitely did a lot of like because we started that shit together. It was my original idea, and I came up with the name, and he just like he had the good business mindset to make it happen. And then he was like he was taking it the next the extra level i mean making the in-person tournaments and shit. yeah 
Yeah, that's. I mean, like I said, I, he he tried. He did try to make stuff like that happen. No, oh, yeah, for the did. community. Yeah, DMac DMac was killing it. He, dude, he's he's also still killing it on the on on Great, the team at the bro. moment on his fucking dinosaur game, he, bro. He got like a million subscribers now. Shit, I might have to get DMac on this shit next, bro. Bro, you do, bro. I'm sure that guy's got a lot to <laughs> you say. Do. I remember, <laughs> like this whole the whole the whole theme about me originally going to those tournaments was that my dad was like, bro, you can't just be going and meeting up with these internet people. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you doing, man? And I remember, because DMac was older at the time, and he like ended up meeting my dad, and I was like, I'm just gonna go like stay over, stay over with DMac, and he's like, are you sure? But not DMac with you. Dave was a chill fucking dude. He, he like was, man. that was when like Minecraft was first starting up, bro. He was like showing me Minecraft yeah. on his computer. I'm like, what? He tried to get me to play Minecraft so many times, man. I just <laughs> never enjoyed that game. Yeah, man, it was fun for like a little while, but not. I was not into it on the level that that boy was on, bro. Yeah, that's just. I mean, he blew up off that though. He did. That's the craziest part. Like exactly. Yeah, you go to his channel and you would never know that he started out as a Pokemon creator. Yeah, he got away from Pokemon, and bro, a lot of people I know got away from Pokemon and blew up doing something else. Yeah, that's see. Once you kind of get your like, you dip your toes into like how YouTube works, and like a lot of people can find a nice little niche, you know. Yeah. Me personally, uh, I still be doing the same exact shit I was doing in two thousand nine, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think about that sometimes. I'm like, dude, I'd be making a thumbnail, and I'm like, I guarantee you, I've used this fucking PNG from a video thumbnail from fucking two thousand nine. <laughs> I've been making like. That's the thing about like a lot of people that are like smart and business minded on YouTube that are actually trying to like make money and grow are like able to pivot and like understand the algorithm shifts and all that nonsense. But like, I just keep it true to like kind of what I originally had done just cause that's what yeah, I have enjoyed. Absolutely. And that's honestly how I feel about like how you kind of have been doing it, like kind of staying pretty consistent. Obviously you've had like a lot of like other more content, like smash stuff and things like that. But I mean, I just try to, I, once it's, I, I don't want it to feel like a job ever, and yeah. it doesn't. It's never really felt like that. I've always enjoyed doing what I do, and if I don't enjoy it, I don't do it, which is why I'm not playing Pokemon right now. Yeah, man. Uh, and, as soon, and as soon as you're uploading shit, that's like you're like, oh, I gotta get some views on this one, and you're like sticking yeah. wild shit in the thumbnails, man. It's just like I don't know. Yeah, to me, it's not it's not worth doing if I have to think so much about it. I just I just have fun, man. If I make good content, people will watch. That's that's how I feel. Not it could be about anything. It definitely shows too, man. I mean, like, you can you can tell the the level of, you know, you're, you're really genuine with your shit, and like that goes a long way with YouTube. Because especially nowadays, bro, the YouTube YouTube people be wilding. Like, I, I hate I hate YouTube, bro. <laughs> I hate YouTube right now. <laughs> I can't I can't do it, bro. People be, what I don't understand, and we're gonna pull off on a tangent here right quick is people who are. I literally just have this note on my thing that I've been that I just looked at, but yo, shiny pe- shiny hunting people blow my mind. I don't understand. I mean, I get it, but like, how are you hatching eggs for fucking six hours a day on Twitch and say that you enjoy it? I we just... we don't have the same appreciation, man. We <laughs> we've been spoiled. Once you start using Poke Gen and PK Hex and and Poke exactly. Sev. Exactly. You don't have the same appreciation for the time put in to find a shiny. And that kind as of ruins shinies in general, like to be honest. Oh, 100 percent As soon as I can start clicking a single button to make my Pokemon shiny, I never cared about shinies ever again. <laughs> because bro, I used to like I have shiny hunted before because it is like I can get the appeal, but dude, I just can't do that shit like day in and day out. Like to I mean, me, it's boring as shit. I understand why people do it, I understand why people watch it. It's chill. Yeah. Exactly. No, and yeah. it's exciting when they finally get the shiny that they're It's essentially to get. a just chatting stream with something in the background, which I understand. But like, yeah, exactly. God damn. Exactly. But yeah, when it comes to having Pokegen, <laughs> like you best believe the second I got my ace card, I was I was instantly Yeah. Like, it's gonna spoil you forever. Uh when six gen came out, I remember we couldn't uh they didn't have the technology yet. They didn't figure it out. Yeah, like they right away. How to how to how to gen right away, yeah. So I was actually, ha- that's probably the most fun with, with Pokemon I've ever had. I was going to say, that shit was actually to, pretty fun, dude. Yeah, dude. Not being able to get these Pokemon whenever I feel like it. I have to actually work. I have to grind. I have to breed. I have to trade people for stuff that I need. Early that Gen was 6. Like the most Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. Early I remember, Gen 6. I remember specifically when that shit came out. That was when I had, that was my first year of college. So I was like, fuck, I have no time for this shit. I was like... I was like trying to breed and make stuff happen. I remember you actually ended up trading me like an Alakazam that was like already EV trained. And I was like, I owe you my life. <laughs> but that shit was fun because that was 
like you'd battle against someone who had like a battle ready mon that you like hadn't seen someone have before yeah like, damn yeah and that shit was that was it was cool but like i think that it i don't know it loses its appeal after a while like the, the fun part was like everybody figuring things out like new mechanics so that was when megas were first introduced so everybody was trying to like figure out megas that was when like everybody was like looking for a six iv ditto and it was kind of the same when like sword and shield came out but it was not it didn't hit like it did when it gen six first started man yeah that shit was those were good times yeah i was gonna say like yeah. my favorite era of wi-fi battling was probably early gen six like if i had to choose yeah, one. same well fourth gen is probably always gonna be my favorite fourth and fifth <clears throat> yeah that's uh, true i did enjoy six for a while though what's up i did enjoy six for a while yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty uh pretty yeah, nice. i think gen four i don't know see I was weird with Gen 4 because I really I didn't play a lot of OU. Like I liked Gen 4 because I played a lot of like lower tiers and that's kind of like what made my channel pop off like it did when it was early. Mm -hmm. Just the fact that I was using just like weird shit. But yeah, yeah you pull the Jigglypuff and OU and shit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. That shit was fun. Nowadays you go back and play Platinum. You fucking close combat at Blissey, it takes like nineteen minutes for its health to go down. Bro, how did we sift through that? <laughs> That shit was fun, though, dude. Everybody had a Gyarados and Electivire on their team. Yeah. <laughs> you switched that bitch into some electric attacks. Yeah, man. I think I Gen 4 that. probably was my I favorite. I love Gen 4, man. Gen 4, it was just... That's the one I was like... You know, first of all, that's where I started. Yeah. That's the one that, like... You know, you get enough experience in Gen 4, you can predict the whole battle before it starts. Exactly. You see their also, on, you, know, you know what they got on their entire team. Yo, true. Fun. That's another thing, dude. We didn't have team preview back in the day. We started, yeah, we so started had, competitive minds. When there was no team preview. Like, what? <laughs> You'd be I looking at their that. team, you're like, this man's about to switch into bulky water type, just judging off his comp so far. Right. <laughs> you had your dedicated lead Pokemon that had, like, Stealth Rocks or Taunt or something. Yeah, always an Azov, Stealth Rocks, Taunt, and Explosion. Bro. Bro. That's all you needed. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Incredible. that shit, man. Yeah. Things are too different. All right, bro. So we've hit the hour mark, and that's kind of what I was aiming for, but... um. Before we head out, what I want <laughs> what I thought would be pretty funny, this is probably a question that you've seen. This was going around the internet for a long ass time before, but I thought it'd be fucking hilarious to kind of hit guess with this shit. But who do you think would win? One mil one billion lions or all of the Pokemon? I had a or I did an entire video about this topic with somebody. Did you? I saw someone yeah. had uploaded a video about this. I didn't know that you were in it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think we decided that all the Pokemon would win. Yeah. That's Just because they're fucking mythical creatures and, you know, they're Pokedex entries and... Agreed. But, you know... Bro, a billion is a fucking large number. There's like, what, you get like a less than a thousand... Bro, what the creatures. hell is a lion to fucking time travel, bro? Like, what are we talking about right now? Alright, true, but I'm talking head-to-head -head <laughs> combat. I'm talking like head -head old school combat? fucking just running at him. Bro, a million lions... That's a lot of li that's a lot of lions, bro. Look, I understand that, but like I said, man, if if we take any of these Pokedex entries literally, like like Macargo, for example, burns hotter than the sun. Okay, true. Like what? Like what? Everything around it should be dead, anyways. Yeah, you just stick that man in the middle. Lions are just what are burning. We talking about? <laughs> All right, fair. And then you got like Mewtwo, like flying up above, just doing some crazy that's psychic what I'm shit. But then it becomes a conversation of stamina, which I don't know if you're ready for, man. How many lions stamina. do you think a Mewku, Mewtwo could fucking kill before he's, he's tapping out? Bro, but see, this is what I'm talking about. We're talking about lions uh, against psychic powers. Like, where do we even... <laughs> there's, there's, no, there's no logical place for me to start here. True. True. All right. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm just ha I had to be the contrarian on it, though, because I, the more I think about it, I'm like, damn, a billion's a lot. I'm thinking about, like, a million... And then two million, and you do that shit ten times. That's a billion lions, or a hundred, not ten times. Jesus Christ, I know how to math. Now, obviously, a billion lions would be a crazy ass thing to see. I mean, like but... a billion of anything would be ridiculous. And lions are some big motherfuckers. They could stack up and get to the damn moon. Like, <laughs> 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 I just, I just want to see what people's responses are. To that. I feel like most people are gonna choose Pokemon, but I gotta hit him with like, yo. Do you know how Bro, many? Look, okay, I just looked at Macargo again. Macargo's internal body temperature can reach over eighteen thousand degrees Fahrenheit. Like, is that is that not the fakest shit you've ever heard in your life? <laughs> the sun is ten thousand degrees, bro. The, 
the the fuck comes up with these Pokedex entries, bro? The surface of the sun is 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, but cargo can reach 18,000. Why are we like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they gotta make Mad Cargo more OP than that man is. There's no consistency in anything. That is true. <laughs> There's like zero. I actually posted it. I posted a tweet and I was like, hit me with some Pokemon themed would you rather questions. And let me tell you, about all of them are garbage. But the one, <laughs> the, 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 the first one, what is the strangest Pokedex entry you can remember off the top of your head? First of all, that's not a would you rather question. Not but at second all. of all, you best believe I'm going to fucking answer it. <laughs> I, it's got to be, it's got to be Drifloon. Like, like the only, Drifloon's the only one I could think of, right? That's just like the straight, one that carries children away? Straight just carries kids. Yeah, I don't like that. Right, I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't like that one bit. Hold on, we gotta at least find one of these would you rather questions to answer because I went through the trouble of asking it. I mean, there's actually probably a lot of good ones. I'm not gonna lie, but we ain't gonna sit here and I've already I've already hit you with the the lions question, which I feel like is enough. Look, at someone even asked that in. Oh no, just kidding. Would you rather be on a team of a hundred Pokemon or a million lions? See, a million's a little bit more manageable, right? A hundred Pokemon, I only need two. Okay. <laughs> true <laughs> some of these pokemon are actually like it doesn't it doesn't make any sense like because the pokemon world in general it's just some of these pokemon are not meant to to be around like the <laughs> yeah like arceus and and celebi and mewtwo like all i need is a mewtwo for a million lions bam done true He's <laughs> <laughs> a million ain't shit bro yeah you remember I back in the day fucking, a fortress explode done <laughs> yeah you put a fortress in the middle and explode game <laughs> over you remember when uh like back in the day they used to have the dlcs or not dlcs what the fuck am i talking about they used to have um events like now like now when you get an event pokemon you just go to the damn pokemon and they just give it to you but like you remember when there was like actual like events that would like bring you into i'd only remember in like gen 4 where you'd have to like go to GameStop and like get like the ticket into your game and then you could like go to fuck it like new moon island whatever the dark cry island and shit like that that was dope why don't they do more like that right yeah yeah like they used to they bring it like because i was just thinking about rcs i remember there was like a there's like a flute coded into the game that was supposed to be an event that like when you go to the sky pillar would like spawn stairs it never actually made it into the games but like that shit was cool i don't know why they just be giving shit to the people nowadays man yeah i don't know man pokemon's changed a lot there's a lot of stuff I don't know, the nostalgia I have for the way things were when I started playing it is never going to be matched again. <laughs> exactly, yeah, I feel feel the exact same way. I remember John used to upload videos on, like, all the events, and, and he used to make his own events, like, for his for his viewers. Yeah, I remember that, dude. Yeah, yeah John, John used to kill it with that. There's just nothing like that anymore. True. All right, I, yeah, I found a good one. It's from Patters. Would you rather fight a Rapidash-sized Psyduck or 10 Psyduck-sized Rapidash? Like a, a Rapidash a size Psyduck. Psyduck. A Rapidash size Psyduck. Okay, so that's. Or that's a pretty, 10. That's a pretty big Psyduck. 10, Psyduck 10, Psyduck. Psyduck. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck uh, would be easier. Probably the probably the Rapidash size Psyduck, right? I mean, how big is a Rapidash? I, I just like picture like a horse. It's like, it's like, yeah, okay, the size of a horse. The thing about Rapidash is you can't touch them unless they like fucking trust you or some nonsense like that from the anime, right? Mm, that's straight true. up he's straight up fire what are you gonna do with 10 sided like little ass rapidash running around i guess you could just i mean if we're talking hand-to-hand -hand combat you can you probably don't have much against a fire fire horse you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i might have I to take know. i think i'll take the psyduck man true psyduck straight up explodes duck. though <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> that's a big ass duck all right man well i've taken i've taken up too much of your time i want to thank you for hopping on for episode one of the podcast i had to get the og but uh yeah man we should definitely we should try to do it again sometime because i know that we've got fucking like we could talk all day pretty much <laughs> that's true i'll be back <laughs> <laughs> he'll be back at some point all right guys let me know in the comments if you enjoyed go check out shofu's channel if you for some reason don't know who this man is this link will be in the description and uh we out here yes sir